All right, presenting first today is Miss Malia Bigham. My name is Malia Bigham. I'm a senior at Copper Basin High School, and today I'm going to be talking about my career path, which is becoming a dance instructor. What is a dance instructor? So a dance instructor is someone who trains students in dance, incorporating elements of technique, performance, and choreography in their educational approach, and typically finding employment at dance studios, schools, virtual classes, and community centers. Education requirements. So you have to have a high school diploma to be a dance instructor. However, you can also get a bachelor's degree in dance or dance education. You can also get a master's degree in dance or dance education, but it's not required. Extensive experience in dance and visual performing arts helps as well because it helps you better prepare your students. My college plan is to obtain a BFA in fine and performing arts with an emphasis in K-12 dance education at the University of Tennessee at Martin. Student teaching dance in schools is part of my college credits, so I will begin that my freshman year at the University of Tennessee at Martin, and I will be actually in elementary schools and high schools teaching performing arts and dance. And I also plan to audition for the UT Martin dance team in about a month, and I recently just made the UT Martin dance ensemble. I'm already a part of that program. So I continue to do that so I can grow in performing and continue to be aware of what's going on so it can help me in my further career. So there are a lot of job opportunities with a major I plan to obtain. Uh, you can become a dance instructor in a private studio and teach dance somewhere that is privately owned. Or with my K-12 dance emphasis, I will be able to work in an elementary school or high school and teach students there. But my personal career, career goals are to work in a private dance studio and obtain experience there. But I have teaching as a dance educator at public school as a backup plan. I also plan to have an add-on to my education degree in history. So if for some reason I couldn't teach in a school or a private studio, I would be able to teach history in public school. Um, some benefits of becoming a dance instructor. Uh, you have a very flexible schedule. You have paid time off and sick leave, health insurance, and a 403B plan. They also receive a lot of creative freedom and a flexible schedule helps balance work and lifestyle. So I love the fact that I'm able to express myself through art and teaching students. That's really important to me and that's one of the reasons I chose to become a dance instructor. Uh, the pay, which you know, it's all really important to us when we choose our careers. Uh, obviously it tends to vary based off experience, education, and location. But teaching as a private dance instructor in Tennessee is about $44,000 a year. And being a private dance instructor nationally, now this definitely varies place to place. The more you go out west, the higher the uh, average becomes. However, nationally, it's $53,000 a year. And a public school instructor in Tennessee is about $50,000 a year. Location, so I am a big Nashville lover. I love the city, I love the arts. So I plan on pursuing a career there. There's a lot of opportunities, uh, a lot of private studios, and also public schools who require dance instructors. How will my career portfolio that we've done in this RTI class help me with my future goals? So it showcases previous leadership positions I've had, including 4-H All-Stars, 4-H Honor Club, and CBTV News at 9. Uh, it includes involvement in multiple organizations, including dance and cheer, that showcase my dance performance capabilities. And it provides letters of recommendation and reference that highlight my skills as a student, leader, and my work ethic. And it provides photographs of my capabilities as a dancer and highlights my extensive dance experience. I have been a dancer for over 10 years now, so um, it's something that I love. Um, my budget, so um, my fixed income is at about $1,500 and consultable $706. My balance is negative. So, uh, yeah, that's, <laughs> that's not the best, but um, I'm hoping to gain some scholarships to help me with that. Um, thank you for your time. Does anyone have any questions? Yeah. Is there a specific um, age group you want to work with when you do start your career? Um, probably about elementary school age is where I would like to start. I would like to start with younger dancers. 
um, I feel that I have a, younger, a good connection with younger children because I've been working in my current dance studio for about four years now, assisting younger classes, so that's something I feel more comfortable with. So that's definitely where I'm going to start. Would you ever want to travel to different studios? Yes. That's uh, something I actually do now as a dancer. I travel to different studios across the state and take classes uh, to learn from different choreographers. So I know how important that is to the younger generation. I would love to travel and choreograph, so that's definitely something I have to so, so with the independent, you're going about doing independent or own business, are you looking at running that business by yourself? Are you planning on getting like a business degree also? So at first I plan on just teaching in the studio and learning ropes and getting my bearings together. At my college actually there is a new uh, business performing arts uh, certification that they are starting about my sophomore year in school so I could obtain that. That would help me for my end goal to eventually open my own studio. I would recommend that for sure. For sure. Any, Any other questions? questions?